Do you find yourself always rolling out of bed straight into do work? Do you find that your mornings are a little bit rushed or chaotic, inevitably making the workday a little bit of a drag? Then you are already losing out on the day. But not to worry, in this video, I'll be sharing a few tips that would hopefully help you transform your mornings from being sluggish to supercharged. I mean, who wouldn't want a productive start to their day? Because I don't believe anybody's born as a morning person. I believe people put in the work to make sure that they are starting out their day strong. So if you want that to be you, then keep watching. Let's make these changes together. Now, we all talk about the morning routine, but you can't talk about a morning routine, a good and productive morning routine without talking about a great evening routine. It all starts from the evening. From the evening time, if you're not going to sleep early, forget waking up early if you're not going to get things done in the evening after work forget having a productive morning routine because those things are waiting for you in the morning unless you're going to leave them for another evening so having a well-managed evening routine is so imperative in the results of your morning routine the same way you're going to plan on a morning routine you have to kind of structure your evenings so that you get things done and you go to bed on time early to bed early to rise our parents did not lie our parents and our teachers indeed had wisdom in what they were saying try and get seven to eight hours of sleep as much as you can so when you consider seven to eight hours of sleep and the time you need to do some other things your evenings have to be intentional so you don't want to spend your evenings just scrolling or just chatting away or just watching tv and expect to have a great morning routine we need to tackle the evening and then once we tackle the evening we come back to using that to ease into our mornings so once you've identified how to be more productive in your evenings to help your mornings better and to help you sleep earlier the second thing you want to do is identify the activities that you want to do in the morning and this varies person on person obviously you get the typical exercise meditate for some but for others certain things are just not there you want to make it your personal morning routine and this can always evolve this can always change but what do you want in your mornings so for example some people go for a run personally i just can't do that before work at this stage in my life so i'm not going to put that activity in my morning There's certain activities that I know based on what would make me feel productive by the time I start work where I'm not feeling like oh I'm, I've just done work today I identify those activities I look at what is possible for my morning so if you start work at 6 a.m unless you're gonna wake up at 3 a.m there's only so much you can do in the morning jam packing so many things in there probably isn't why you want to be honest with yourself as to okay this is what i want my ideal morning to look like this are the things i would love to get done before work now on a non-work day it can look different because you might have a longer morning but i'm talking about starting work in the morning 9 a.m 10 a.m whenever you start what would you like to get done between the time you wake wake up and the time you go to work aside from just sleeping now when you pick these things don't make it too much again you don't have all the time in the world before work you just want to pick a couple three things four things two things even however much you want to you might start small and then gradually build it up based on the time that you have and stick to those things now once you've done that which is our number two we move on to our number three which is identifying how much you want to spend on these things as well me for example my mornings i love to read in the mornings just because it's nice and quiet um now can i spend two hours reading probably not um do i want to do five minutes reading i probably wouldn't feel like i've done much if i do five minutes reading but you can start with five minutes so you want to identify what your ideal time for each activity that you've identified that you want to do in the morning so if you're going to go to the gym how long is ideal for you to spend in the gym how long is ideal for you to spend reading how long is ideal for you to spend praying to spend just in your quiet time you need to then highlight the ideal timing for what you want and then total that to see if it would equate to how long you have in your mornings, if that makes sense. So if I put an hour for every activity that I want to do, and it all totals to be four hours based on four activities, if I start work at nine o'clock, four hours before nine, I have to be up at five. Now, when we're doing this 
math or this quick summary it has to also include your commute time to work as well so this is why it all has to be personal to you because for some people their commute time is five minutes some people is 10 minutes some people is two hours some people it's an hour so if you have two hours commute time then you probably can only get one thing done in the morning which is fine um you just know on how to build on that and how you want that to evolve over time based on your personal goals and all of that so this is why this activity is super important so that you know what you actually want we're not cutting down time yet now we're just at the stage of we have firstly managed our evening routine better to help us sleep early and to not have too much to do in the morning like washing dishes um personally for me i usually pack my lunch in the morning but i find that if i do that in the evening it just saves me doing that in the morning i could just go to the fridge and pick that up and pack it so things like that when you manage that well in your evenings and you sleep well um, then you have a better morning routine. Then we identify the types of activities that we believe would make us feel like we've been productive before work. What would we want to do before work? Now, we're not trying to say this is absolutely impossible. We want to identify what we would love to do first and not give ourselves any limiting beliefs before empowering ourselves to actually go for it and try it. So when you list out these things and you actually say, okay, this is what is possible. This is not what is possible and with those activities that you've listed one thing that would help is to identify how long do I ideally want to spend on these things what fraction of that can I spend doing that in the morning and I'll do the rest in the evening if your evening routine allows now when you see all of that you then realistically with your total number of hours or minutes you then realize that actually I don't have all that time in the world in the morning so maybe rather than doing one hour of reading I'm going to make it 30 minutes of reading or if you don't have that much time I'm going to make it 15 minutes of reading rather than one hour of the gym I'm going to make it 45 minutes in the gym just based on the time frame I have before my commute to work remember the addition of all these time durations has to include commuting because we don't want you to be late so you want to you don't have up until nine o'clock if you're work starts at nine o'clock you have up until 8 30 for example because you've got to get on the road if that makes sense so when you have that total and you split it up accordingly then this allows you to identify your ideal wake up time this is number four identifying your ideal wake up time now obviously some people we can just pick it from the air but following these steps systematically would then allow you to make an informed decision on what time you actually need to wake up for example if you're if the addition of your durations for all of these activities is three hours and you start work at 9 a.m then you know that ideally i need to be up at 6 a.m no later if i want to ideally double and dabble in all these activities i always recommend also putting buffer times in there because sometimes obviously you snooze and it's just a progressive thing we're not trying to strive for perfection we just want to get better daily so there'll be times where you might snooze a little though it's a sharp time in calculation i always just try and leave room for the ifs but let's see three hours you said for example you want to read for an hour you want to gym for an hour and you want to meditate for an hour those are the three things you want to do before work at 9 a.m so ideally you need to be up at six o'clock now the next step you want to take is identify where you're at at the moment versus where you have envisioned yourself to want to be so if you have said okay based on everything i've written down how long it will take me what i want to do i need to be up at 6 a.m but so far you've just been getting up at eight o'clock and just you know quickly showering quickly and having something to grab and then out the door now you're trying to move from 8 a.m to 6 a.m that's a bit of a jump in habit for your body so your body's just going to be like what is this we're not trying to make just sudden choices that wouldn't be sustainable if that works for you fantastic but for most of us we tend to we just work better when there's incremental changes so rather than just changing your alarm from 8 a.m to 6 a.m start gradually how i figured out that it worked for me i tried this for about a week or two weeks i was trying to move my wake up time then from 6 a.m to 5 30 so i 
I moved it to 5.50 for a couple of days. After a couple of days, I moved it to 5.45 or 5.40 for another few days. After that, I moved it to 5.35. At a point, I was struggling with that 5.35. But when you give yourself time to kind of marinate in each um, installment, should I say, um, it's better for your body to manage. So if you are 8 a.m. and you're trying to get to 6 a.m., maybe give yourself a time frame. I don't know. Some people might want to challenge themselves and do it in a week. But I recommend maybe giving yourself a couple of days with each time change. So let's say you want to move it every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every 10 or 5 minutes. 5 minutes is going to take you a while. But if you do that over a period of a couple of weeks, you would gradually just teach your body how to then get used to waking up at 6 a.m. Now in the middle of the time when you're trying to get used to still waking up at 6 a.m. from 8 a.m. for example, this is all just an example by the way, we're just using this so that we can all understand. Um, obviously if you wake up at 7 a.m. and you've calculated that you needed three hours before work, you don't have enough time. You just have to give yourself grace in those times where you're still learning on how to hit that goal. So you modify your times ideally. So let's say if you set it for like we said an hour for each each thing and if you wake up at seven rather than beating yourself up until you're able to reach six o'clock just say okay today I only have two hours now so we're just gonna cut out some time from each segment and rather than doing an hour at the gym I'm only gonna do 30 minutes of exercise rather than doing an hour of reading I'm only gonna do 15 minutes today based on the time of God and that would allow you to give yourself grace and just celebrate progress rather than striving for just perfection where you then knock yourself down and then you don't do anything so that's how you, you kind of modify it till you reach your absolute goal. Now, number five, another thing I would recommend is to actually write this routine down. So when you've established your, um, your activities, your timings, your wake time, you want to write it down by timing. So I have it written down in my notes app and I know this is my ideal flow of my morning routine just so I can keep seeing it. I can keep getting used to it. And sometimes it just takes away that mental thinking of what am I meant to do next? And then what that allows me to do is also schedule it in. So I have alarms. I love a good alarm, even if they're annoying, they annoy most of the people around me. But when I have it written down according to timings, based on the flow, I want my morning to run, I put it in. So for example, I am to read by by eight o'clock to have enough, a good 30 minutes for reading. I have an alarm set 8 a.m read so in the mornings i have like a good three four alarms based on the activities i want to get done in the morning so that's a great way to also help you help yourself hallelujah number six is to keep it simple when i say keep it simple again we're not trying to overcrowd our mornings you're just waking up you're just trying to make sure that you're having a productive start to the day and ensuring that you're going to work feeling energized feeling productive feeling like you've poured into yourself before you've poured into another business you want to keep it simple but effective like keep my outfit simple I keep my breakfast simple so I kind of also plan my breakfast mentally or write it down at the start of the week so I know what I'm having I'm not trying to rack my brain as to what would I have for breakfast today so I'm just going straight to get that thing done that food made that outfit picked that activity done because you're not trying to pick from a huge collective of what shall I do today that takes up mental space. Number seven, I still need to learn from this. We're all in this boat, but if you are not, please give us tips and it's avoiding your phone. Now, I believe one of the best ways to do this is by actually keeping the phone far away from you. But like I said, I really do need my alarm. I just have this thing where if my alarm's not ringing, if it's not close to me, then I might not hear it. But thank God for Alexa, my actual, um, maybe I should put more alarms on Alexa actually so I can keep my phone far away. But I only have one alarm, which is my friend. And it actually works pretty well, um, which has allowed me to keep my phone a bit further away from my bed, but still not far enough for effectiveness. Try and avoid your phone because I find every time when I pick up my phone, my morning just drag because I've then gone into this message of replied. I've seen something on Instagram that somebody has died or the world is crumbling. I don't need that first thing in the morning so save yourself the distraction and let your creative juice flow let your mind speak to you enjoy the atmosphere of nature and just immersing yourself in just you know starting your day strong so avoiding the phone will do all of us great good number eight is to plan your day now you can do this the 
evening before if you want to add that to your evening routine or in the morning a great way and effective way to do this is by just identifying what are the three things i can do today to bring me closer to my goal what are the three things i can do today that would make me deem myself productive and most of the time if you never really did anything with your mornings before if you're able to make this routine work for you you by the end of the day you are like feeling like yeah i've actually like invested in myself whether that is fitness whether that is mentally whatever that is so try and identify just three things don't make it too much because you're about to go work a whole shift however long your shift is um and then come back in the evening probably a little bit tired but you want to be able to being able to do this in the morning or the evening before allows you to kind of have a plan for the day so that even when you are tempted to just be a couch potato um you know that okay i've just got these three things to do um and you can spread it out between your morning routine and your evening routine and sometimes even during work time if you've got any downtime so it just helps you to kind of focus your energy during the day and finally just leave room for error i know obviously we're trying to strive for perfection we're trying to make it an absolute best um we're trying to get there immediately but this is not a race this is a journey and the journey is the destination so enjoy the journey you know um savor in you know trying and making mistakes and just getting back up and just trying to do better the only person you should be comparing yourself with is the person that you were yesterday so if you were rolling out of bed by 8 55 to get into work at nine o'clock and you've managed to get yourself getting awake at 7 a.m you don't have to bug yourself down until you get to 5 a.m or 6 a.m celebrate that give yourself grace leave room for error and allow yourself to try again again the next day if you didn't get it today again the next day there's sometimes i miss activities and i'm like it's fine we'll try again the next day so it's not about perfection but about progress so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps someone out there definitely would help me when i watch it back again if you have any other tips on how to make your mornings productive and just make it a great start to your day then let us know in the comments i'd love to interact i'd love to try out any other tips that you guys have but until next time um stay blessed i'll see you in my next video bro <laughs>